Hi, Deborah from South Essex Slings. This video is using the Mini Monkey Carrier with a kind of six month old doll with crossing the straps on the back but using the clips that are on the panel of the carrier. So we'll pop the waistband on. We look at the front or the outside of the carrier. We bring it towards us and turn the waistband in and pop that on. Where your waistband goes will depend on the height of your baby. So you want the waistband to sit around where baby's bottom sits when their head is on the firm part of your, of your chest. So newborns will sit quite high and as baby gets bigger, it will get a little bit lower. So your waistband goes on. We then need to shrink this fabric to the width of baby's knees. Um, don't worry too much because it moves really easily even even while you've got kind of baby in there you can shift it around a bit so just pop it in roughly to where you feel that's going to be and then we'll find our baby so snuggling baby into your chest their little hands are up by their face we're going to support across baby's thighs allowing that bottom to drop down so that they can sit into that squatty position on your on your chest. Keeping a hand under baby's bottom to help them feel supported and safe. Your other hand will come underneath the fabric of the carrier. And we're gonna bring this up and over baby's back, ensuring that baby's bum drops into this fabric. And then your shoulder straps can go over your shoulders. The top of the panel here has got a slightly padded bit in it and you want this around baby's neck. If it's coming too high, try making your waistband a bit higher and it should sit at the right place. So I'm gonna make sure that baby's knees are tucked up and the edges of this carrier are into baby's knee pits. So tuck that knee up and make sure that carrier's into the knee pits and just pull any slack over my shoulders. Keeping one hand on baby's bottom, I'm gonna take my free hand behind my back, stay close to my body so that I go underneath that first strap I'm gonna reach for the strap on the opposite side. Pull it down towards the floor, pull it round, and it's gonna clip in to this clip on the panel here. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat on the other side. Reach in round for the strap on the opposite side, and we are going to I'm pulling the wrong bit. There we go. Down towards the floor, Pull it round and this clip will go into this clip on the panel. There. There we go. To tighten up this carrier, there's no straps here that you pull. So we need to reach behind us and up here. So we're gonna find, you need to find the strap that um, comes so I reach up along this piece of webbing and find the strap at the top of it and equally feed my hand up along this bit and find the strap that corresponds to that bit and give that a pull back in the direction it came from to tighten it up. What you can do is pull both of those kind of forward and make sure they're roughly the same length. That means that both sides are equally tightened. So safety checks. Baby's airways, clear and visible. Baby's hands up by their face, the fabric's in the neck and no higher, and baby feels nice and snug. They can't slump, they can't fall out. And those knees are up higher than that bottom. They're in that nice squat position. You have the option on these shoulder straps of spreading out some fabric if you want for a bit of extra comfort. You should feel nice and comfortable. That cross should be quite low on your back, more central rather than up by your neck, that will be a lot more comfortable and spread weight a lot more evenly. If you're not comfortable, please reach out. There's probably some simple tweaks we can do to help. So once you're safe and you know you're both comfortable, all good to get baby back out again. Keep one hand on baby's bottom, unclip these clips at the sides. Shoulder straps come back off and we can pop baby down. Check out my other video for using the straps slightly differently and doing back carries and carrying older children.